Well, Ken hasn't I've seen, not this seen video. the video, folks. Full disclosure, I'm seeing it the same time you are. Well, uh, let's see what the internet is is stirring up today. When it comes to real estate investing and why this is the best asset class, this is about as simple as I can make it. We're doing a light rehab and my flooring guy asked me, he said, Jason, why are you all in on real estate? Why are you not investing in stocks and Bitcoin? I said, that's a great question, Mike. Do you have a 401k? I asked him. He said, yes, I have $200,000 in my 401k. I said, great job. That's better than most. Scenario number one, your dad gets sick. You have to take him to a nursing home. They're charging $7,000 a month to keep him there. With your $200,000 in your 401k, how long can you keep him there? He thought about about it for a moment, 28 and a half months. That's not a long time for being in a nursing home. Scenario number two, your dad gets sick, you still gotta take him to the nursing home and they're still charging $7,000 a month. But instead of having $200,000 in a 401k account, you took that 200 grand and bought 10 cash flowing assets that produce $10,000 a month. How long can you keep him there? He thought about it and said, forever. And that's the power of real estate. All right. Uh, well, that, that was a fast-moving, hard-charging real estate guru right there, Ken. Yeah, and this is the problem with the TikTok world we're in. YouTube, I love it. We're on all the things, okay? But it's like, if I'm going to take something and that complex, that serious, and I'm going to reduce it to a bunch of jump cuts in a video and go, when it's done, like I've just taken care of your debt. Come on. This is, this is clickbait stuff. Oh, this absolutely. is this is cotton candy. What got me and is sadly the, a lot the of people are like, guy. "Oh yeah, you're right. I got to dump my 401k and go buy a property right now." This is essentially what he just said. This guy probably has a whole lot more knowledge and experience. I don't want to bang on this guy cuz I you, you say anything in this world, now this is going to go out there and then the you know, I we we said something one time about somebody who gave silly advice and and the lady wanted to debate me online. I I got news for you. I don't care what you think. This segment involves what I think. And what I think is this is clickbait. It is surface advice that can get people really hurt. George, you know this. Why? Well, what number, happens when you take that advice and you don't know what you're doing? So this whole fast talking thing is to get you to do basically nothing down real estate. It's Put like down this. as little <gasps> as possible. <gasps> Cash flowing assets. What? <gasps> That's the hot ticket item right there, Ken. If you hear that online, run. Those guys have an online course to sell you. I promise you he does. Cash flowing assets, that's what it's all about. Don't invest in your 401k. You got to get nothing down real estate because then your tenants will just pay your mortgage and you'll be a millionaire in no time. Yeah, no brainer. You can't jump cut your way to financial success. Ooh, that's what that was. Tweet that. There you go. Whoever's on Twitter. Who's that? Whoever's left over there. Well, here's the deal, Ken. Yeah, First I of thought all, that was pretty good. Too. He totally faked the scenario where the flooring guy is going, hey, why, oh, why aren't you investing in Bitcoin? Completely, yeah. The so flooring that guy. That never happened. Second of all, this weird thing about... What if your dad's in the nursing home and you got to pay for the nursing home? I don't understand why that's the scenario he goes to, but... It's called long-term care, George. We always recommend long-term care uh, because of that scenario. So talk to your parents. If you've got someone who's in the elderly stage and they may be going, you got to get long-term care in place to cover this, number one. And we don't know. Dad may have a bunch of retirement. Why is this on you? Don't no. set your kids up in that way to where they've got to tank their 401k. Well, and the other point I have is that your 401k creates cash. It's invested. And with an average return, the way, 8, 10, 12%, it makes money. And you can get as close to a guarantee with that. You can't guarantee that you're going to be able to buy 10 houses and they turn into all this that you're talking about because you're talking about spinning off rent. Money. Oh, and the renters just magically pay perfectly every month and don't damage the place and the HVAC and the roof and everything just stays perfectly fine. Yeah. And so let's, what do you think the average, you know what, let's have some fun with this, George. This strategy, which by the way, the only thing missing on the end of that video was, hey, buy my product so you can buy your dad a castle on the beach. With a hot nurse. I mean, that literally was the last thing needed. To we pay may that have cut off. him off early. He may have gone yeah, into that. Yeah, might have got into that. Uh, what do you think, average person running that strategy? What do you think they're making on rent? Well, you got to imagine they've got five hundred bucks. They've got very little equity in yeah. the property. Yeah, they've got the mortgage to pay right. plus maintenance plus HOA plus right. expenses plus their insurance, and after that, their net profit 
is very well, slim. Okay, but let's just pick a number to to because what I don't want to do is critique this and not help you see the other side of it. So let's say they're making between George, you're the math guy. Most people are making hundred to eight hundred bucks. You're clearing that. You think they're clearing that? That's First my time guess. Out. From callers that call in who have investment property with mortgages on it, they say, "Well, we're we're making about ten grand on it." Would you say so? The net would be between five and eight hundred bucks. That's fair. All right. So times twelve months. Yeah. So you're talking six grand, eight grand. Versus, Ten grand if versus investing money in a 401k over the same amount of time. Well, you got 200 bucks in a 401k and you get a return of 10% on that 200k. That's 20 grand that year that you didn't have to do anything, by the way. You, you didn't, have, didn't to show have to mop the floor, talk to a tenant who's got more cats than they do since. I mean, you don't have to do that. I mean, this is real numbers. Absolutely. And here's the thing. We love real estate around here. Dave's got a lot of it, oh, but yeah. he paid cash for it, which changes the way you view it. And it, the return on that investment is astronomical compared to you trying to keep up and pay the mortgage and net profit on that thing. And so you want to talk about cash flowing assets, pay cash for that investment property and add up what that amounts to. But see, that's not in the video. The video doesn't no, explain how it's long it quick. takes for all that rental income to equal the, the amount of money that he's promising. Absolutely. And the risk involved. So here's the deal. The more boring it sounds the more I'm excited about it because I feel like, oh, I could do that. When it comes to handling, you know, 10 pieces of real estate with nothing down, that's a lot of anxiety in my life while trying to work a full-time job. Here's an old, old, old saying. And I don't know who said it, George. If it looks or sounds too good to be true, it, it is. probably is. Mm. And that's the clickbaity stuff that we got to be careful about. How in the world can someone give you this unbelievable sound financial advice in a one-minute TikTok or whatever it ends up being? I just got to oh, yeah. tell you, folks, it's cotton candy. Well, our advice, hey, once you're out of debt and have an emergency fund, invest 15% into your 401k. Sounds boring. And guess what? It's the number one investment vehicle to becoming a millionaire based on the 10,000 that we studied. Do with that information what you will. And by the way, you can have a great 401k and invest in real estate with cash. And a nice cardigan. And a great cardigan to match. There you go.